Tamika, how are you? I'm doing good. Nice doing to good. catch how you today. You? Beautiful weather out. Yeah, it's nice. So, I guess, Stacey Abrams. Is Stacey Abrams responsible for flipping Georgia? She's very, she's one of those, very responsible. You know, she's been doing the work quietly, dealing with voter suppression after her race, um, and really trying to make sure that voters were prepared. Uh, and, you know, she's done a great job, it's clear. Everyone can see it, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I can say, it is kind of interesting that um, okay. it was 18% black guys voted for Trump compared to 15 from Right, yeah. Right. So yeah. They, they say there's been an increase. Black people are not a monolith. You know, there are many people who feel different ways. Uh, we can't focus on that. What we know is that the majority of black people are responsible for what you see happening now, where it looks like uh, Joe Biden will be the next president. And that's really the bottom line is that the majority of us know what needs to be done on behalf of our communities. But we can't worry about all the others that we can't necessarily save. And on the other hand, uh, the tier for black women only a very, very marginal increase from 4% to 8%. Yeah, marginal but increase. Black women are have been the backbone of the Democratic Party for far too long as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we don't necessarily receive the benefits of our work, sacrifice, and commitment. And that's really, the that's the conversation that has to happen going forward. Because the districts that we're waiting to count right mm -hmm. now uh, in order to determine this presidency are basically districts where many black people live. And we know that black women are carrying the numbers. We can, almost, we can thank we can thank black women for carrying Biden to this presidency, can, if he wins. We can thank black women for carrying everybody all the time. That's what black women do. Love it. I, right. I love it. I Thanks. love it. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Matt B, a.k.a. Piv. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Tell me what you think about the video down below. Please share this video and comment and tell me what you think about the video down below. And if you dislike what I say by the end of the video, feel free to hit that dislike button and YouTube don't pay me anyway. So this is my first video, man, that, you know, I really had to come on and really say something about Tamika Mallory and the simp, my son that was standing right beside, right beside her behind her or whatever you want to, um, you know, whatever in the camera's position. But these are two people in the past couple of years that has flourished in the black community as what I call radicalists, but what many would call activists and you know the crazy bs that they spew and everything else but um that's 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 not the topic that i'm going to get on today and basically i just wanted to ask um any women who watches this video choose you know click on and you know think rational enough to answer this question but she stated the fact that you know many black women for years have been the backbone of the democrat party so basically no no matter what the democrat will always have the black woman's vote but then by the end of the video she had you know basically said that yeah we have been the backbone of the democrat party and we have you know pushed biden into presidency but at the end of the day we have not had anything that you know has flourished for the black you know for the black women has supported the democrats you know for all these years and i sit back and i'm you know i sit back and i think like why is it so hard for me to you know get in these specific people's position because you know now that i think about it, it's like you know a lot of the times when these women speak they don't really speak on with the main issues is you know are with are black women and and so it's like every time they speak it's, it's not a lot of credibility or not a lot of accountability um for the things that they say because it's like you know okay so you acknowledge that you know y'all have been you know been supporting democrats all this time on a federal level and or a government level or a um or on a civil level or you know whatever on a regular ground-based level um this is the the stuff that y'all have been pushing for years but at the same time like i said y'all acknowledge that y'all have 
you know got nothing for it and so the thing is i asked like why for so many years that you know y'all see that you know the things that y'all see that nothing has changed under the same rule or things that y'all support so what is the point of you know you know even trying to keep on supporting so i laugh when they say that you know black women may have pushed biden into presidency because i sit back and i say like you know what black women only make up what six and a half or seven percent of the you know black um you know black americans population so the the funny thing that i would like to say is no i don't believe that the black women pushed biden into presidency i think that black women help frame uh, a political figure that was doing a lot of things for black men and americans period and y'all felt like y'all wasn't you know y'all wasn't represented in a good light and y'all was shammed into believing that you know black women wasn't getting a piece of pie at this at this time when you know facts are out there that black women are at a um unemployment um what is that all-time low for unemployment so you know like i said man these ideas and everything that they're pushing you know for black women and it, you know and it's, it's black women first and i don't understand how people can even get behind the things that this woman say says at any time you know it's, it's pretty much just like every everything that comes out a lot of these people mouth is like hatred to me and, and i mean they may feel like you know on our side that's you know hatred or you know we don't feel sorry for the issues that they bring up but at the same time the issues that they bring up are not helping the communities it's like they're looking for self first the only time that they speak on black men is when they're you know shot dead in the streets so no i just wanted to also i just wanted to say like like i said man when are y'all gonna hold yourselves accountable man and and actually speak on with the main issue in the black community that women have I mean y'all have everything that y'all could possibly want and i like i said there's a lot of people that that's not going to get behind and can't get behind the fact that y'all still think that y'all at the bottom of the totem pole and actually y'all are more privileged than anything so like i said man people people never understand or women black women will never understand that a lot of the issues that are in our community are them themselves. Without without all with all the the hood and and Section Eight and and food stamps and low income and every type of gain a woman could you know, child support and everything else a woman could have in this life, um, a lot of them choose not to do better for themselves and sit in these communities and procreate with the wrong ones in the communities and i feel like that's the biggest issue with our women and at the same time you know raising their children in these democrat values and and, and this democrat system in these democrat cities and you know in these ran down project communities and in low income communities man and at the same time man where we live is still not a reason for us to even do the things that we do or live the way that we live so i might have got off you know might have got a little off topic with this one right here but at the end of the day man i feel like tamika man these these people are just like her stacy abrams and all of them you, that you can name man they're pushing an agenda that's not for every black person and it is what it is and I'm all about I'm all about you know black man first, but at the same time I'm about family as well, and I feel like the man should always be ahead of the family. And if the man is not included into these specific um, agendas that you know these pro-black women or these whatever radical left liberal women are trying to push, if the black man is not involved or ahead of it, I can't get with it. 
not saying a woman is not formed, you know, set, you know, or, you know, whatever to leave. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these things that these women are pushing for us, man, it's not going to help us, man. It's only going to hurt us worse. But tell me what you think, man. I appreciate you for watching the video. It's your boy, Matt B, a.k.a. Piff. I love y'all. Tell me if you think, you know, I'm wrong. That's all I want to know, man, because, you know, at the end of the day, every time that I, every time that, you know, these people open up their mouths, man, it's not, in the, to me, it's not in the best interest of the black community. So, it's what it is. I love y'all, man. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Start to feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't need a nigga dial if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile Probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't worried about